Hello everyone, Matthew Hawkins back again with another video and it's Wrestlemania once again too big for just one night as it's Wrestlemania 37, yes, one Wrestlemania 37 night one, great, it was great to have fans back but it was absolutely crazy, in fact so much so there was a weather delay, you think all the Wrestlemanias that they've done in open air venues, 9, 24, 28, 29, 31 and 33 and 35 beforehand, they've never had a, any type of inclement weather, particularly 24, 28 and 33, all of which was held in the state of Florida. They've never had this problem until this year. I will warn you guys, there will be spoilers for night one, because obviously one of the matches on night one, which was the tag team match for the Women's Tag Team Championship, obviously that does affect the lineup for night two. So let's get on with my predictions for night number two of WrestleMania 37. Right, which match to start? Well, the since it was the men's championship on Raw, I believe, uh, Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre that Jet Paquette and opened last night, I think we'll do the women's match tonight, shall we? It's Asuka defending against Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley obviously lost the NXT Women's Championship to Charlotte Flair last year. Uh, this one's... Add to tip. I have that feeling Ripley may go for two, so I'm going to go with Asuka. What match to do next? How about that women's tag team title match as Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will defend against Natalya and Tamina, obviously the winners of the tag team turmoil match uh, last night. And who's there for again? Don't know really to go for here, but I'm, I'll go for Nia Jax and Baszler to retain. Moving on then, and what match next? What match next? What match next? How about The Fiend with Alexa Bliss in his corner against Randy Orton and this one, personally, I'm just gonna go with Randy Orton. I'm, it, from the build I've been seeing, it looks like, it, I, I feel confident just going with Randy Orton on this. All right, next match, moving on quickly, going through these thick and fast. The Intercontinental Championship is going to be defended in a Nigerian drum fight, whatever this is going to be, as Big E will defend against Apollo Crews. And I'm going to go with Big E on this one. I, I'm, I wonder what this Nigerian drum fight will be, but uh, I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, moving on, right. Uh, what match next? How about the United States Town match? Matt Riddle, the King of Bros, will defend against Sheamus. And uh, I'm going to go with Matt Riddle. Uh, again, I feel more confident uh, going with Riddle over Sheamus on this one. Okay, what match next? I think there's only a couple matches left. I bought the match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn with, in Sami Zayn's corner, I believe, is Logan Paul. What the f*** is Logan Paul doing at WrestleMania? I do not know. It just seems like, from what I can see, he's here for the sake of being here. But because of that, I'm going to go with Sami Zayn. Because of the celebrity involvement, I'm going to... I'm just going to go with Sami Zayn to win this one. I think there's only one match left, and that is, it was initially going to be Edge versus Roman Reigns. Obviously, Edge, the first person in 17 years to start the Royal Rumble at number one and go on to win it. The first time in 15 years when Rey Mysterio entered at number two and went on to win it. You'll be facing Daniel Bryan, at, and obviously Roman Reigns will, is defending the title in a triple threat match for the WWE Universal Championship. To me, this really is a conflict between Edge and Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan is going, oh, when everyone thought he wasn't going to wrestle again, he proved them wrong. But Edge is even more so. Like Edge had to, again, he had to retire, and he never thought he was going to wrestle again. In fact, yesterday, it was the 10 year anniversary when it was announced. I believe it's. Today or yesterday was the 10 year anniversary of when he had to retire. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm wearing an Edge t-shirt. Uh, actually, why not? I'll go with Edge. I'm going to go with Edge. Become the Universal Champion on this one. Once again, very thick and fast predictions, but those are my predictions for WrestleMania 37 Night 2. Will it be as good as Night 1? Honestly, it was a fun night. It, it felt like WrestleMania. It just it honestly felt and it was just nice to have fans back in attendance for a WWE event again. Yeah, even though it was a limited number of fans is what it would have been if we was in normal circumstances. But then again, it wouldn't be in Tampa, it'd have been in LA. And I would have been there in Tampa last year. 
Let me know your predictions for Night 2 of WrestleMania down in the comment section below. And what do you think of my predictions? If you like this video, be sure to click it a thumbs up. If you're brand new to this channel, you like what you see here, you want some more, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you know whenever the hell I post next. Be sure to tell your friends how much of a great YouTuber I am and to follow me on Twitter at Hawkins and Scott Matt US and on Instagram at BigMattHawk18. But as always, though, remember, you need some cheer, have no fear, Big Mahawk is here!